it always makes good sense to really define the problem. What are we trying to fix? Because if we have kind of a fuzzy definition, you can go off in all kinds of directions. So yes, I'm always looking to clarify things. Okay, what problem are we trying to solve? Okay, who's going to be a part of that? Who would be interested in what we're doing? Stakeholder analysis. So you just kind of talk through those kinds of things just to make sure that you're in alignment and you're looking at things from a real point of view. I like reality and that's what quality to me is, is reality. Looking at reality, what's there as opposed to what you believe is there or happening. You think about 5S, 5S and these lean concepts, you open up the pantry at home, there's all this stuff. Some of this stuff is outdated, the spices, the products, Well, one of the first things to do is why don't you get rid of the stuff that you don't need. Things become simpler when you don't have one through 100, you have one through 30. You get rid of those things that are expired, they're no longer good, then you start to organize that material. So I do this stuff all the time. Searching for a sock in a drawer, sampling without replacement. So why would I put socks back if I haven't found the sock that I'm looking for? Take the sock out, put it to the side. The population gets smaller. I have a higher likelihood of finding the sock that I need. Just getting up in the morning, I do it a set way, from getting out of the bed to taking a couple of glasses of water to hydrate myself, then going into the, to the bathroom, going through the shaving, the preparing, you know, brushing your teeth, to how I've, how I've laid out clothes, how I prepare things, put them in the sack, go through a checklist to make sure that I have the plug and the charger and all of that so that when I walk out of the door, I don't have to come back. Thinking about maximum efficiency, minimal effort, what am I wasting even with steps? Sometimes, and it takes a little bit of dis discernment. So if there's motion involved, but uh, I've been working at a desk all day, it's like, hmm, it's good to take some motion. But if in fact you're talking about a process, going back and forth, going back and forth, you're just wasting time and energy. And I think that way when I'm picking up kids or doing you know, shopping around for myself. These principles that I've learned I, it's in my personal life and in my professional life because I think it's easier when you're when your lives and you're, you you align yourself. So, for me in working with processes, I think when you turn people, process, performance, the impacts of technology has always been the secrets lie in working with people.